All right, so I want to show you how the spot welder works. It comes from ancient China, and there is a video out here on YouTube that uh, the manufacturer put up to try to explain this, but that was not very successful in my opinion. There's a bunch of Chinese writings on there, and the relevant ones I translated and put stickers on here on mine so that I remember. Um, <clears throat> this device comes with two sections. The lower section here is a charging unit, a power supply where you can set the charge, the power, and the voltage. Here the amps and here the voltage for your USB you have here. So when you make a battery pack with a welder, then you can charge that battery pack with the same unit here if you want to. Um, nowadays we all have chargers, so I don't know if that is really necessary. The charger here is turned on on the right side, and then you can use those settings and work on that. The welder is here on the left side. When you turn this on, your welding gets the power here. Um, the whole principle of this I'm going to explain here is those batteries you will weld on a nickel strip on here and then push it up here and it will weld. Now the force it takes to push this up so it will turn on so once you push it up at a certain point it switches on and starts welding. Um, the pressure you need to push up you can set on the knob on top of here between 300 and 750 gram of force uh, you can set that. Okay, so if you want it easy to push up, then you can reduce the power you need to push up. Okay, so that's the first thing you do. Uh, the second here, turn it on, there's little LED lights in there so that you can see down here. Uh, we have the pulse power level, though the amperage, how many amps we push in, uh, how many pulses we have, either one or two, and then here how long each pulse is. Okay. That's, in theory, how this goes. The thicker the weld you want to do, the more power you need. <clears throat> okay. Now, let me start out with a thin welding. Let me zoom in here. This is the green here, okay. So I use my nickel strip here, the one I want to weld, and I go up here. And I weld on it. We heard a tuck tuck noise, and now it's welded on already here. And I can barely pull on it. So now I have a nickel strip on here, a thin nickel strip, right? Let's go here, Let's see this. My nickel strip is welded on there. If I want the thicker one across here, I need more power because this is the way the thickness of the metal, so I need to set the settings again. So let me do this here. So um, in order to set the settings, you push the star button. The first number blinks. I'm going to go up to 90. You push the button again, you could do the second number, so 95, 94, whatever. So I leave it at 90. And then the third button will do the number of pulses, 2, or if you click down, 1. Or one more down, you get two again, right? If you like the numbers, click again. All the numbers do not blink anymore. That means it's set to it now. Okay, so I go in here now and weld this on here. Oh, that's super done. And then here again. There. And I'm going to weld it to the other one. So now you can see here I have six welds for my particular application here, what I need. I need six super clean welds on here. And now I can run my second battery. So the second battery is going to go here. And the whole thing is that you... Uh, yeah, hold this in a way that... Uh, goes together correctly. There it is. You see this? No. Well, you don't see this. Huh. Yeah. I have 
to focus on this. This one is welded on here. Yeah, I need this one here to solder on. And those two go here. Okay, so if you want to cut your stuff here, you use uh, regular scissors. That's how I use always. And the problem you will have is that your um, you should do this before. This is not loose. It's just where I cut it off. So I need one on this side now. One of the thick ones here. Okay. It's there. And it's here. You can add more. I'm sorry, I'm not focused. Yep. You can add more uh, welds. How is my... Yeah, so to make sure that it really is connected. And there you have your battery welded. That's how it goes. See that? That's going to be a great battery pack. Okay, so yeah, that's how you make a battery with this device. You're done welding, you turn it off, and you're golden. I hope this helped you, and um, sign up for more of great, great videos, if you liked it.